Christy Noem continuing to dig herself into a deeper hole. Now she is suggesting that just like she shot and killed her dog, as she admitted, she's saying that President Biden's dog, Commander, should meet the same fate. Number one, Joe Biden's dog has attacked 24 Secret Service people. So how many people is enough people to be attacked and dangerously hurt before you make a decision on a dog? And you talk multiple times about it. In fact, at the end of the book, you say the very first thing you would do if you got to the White House that was different from Joe Biden is you'd make sure Joe Biden's dog was nowhere on the grounds. Commander, say hello to Cricket. That's, that's, that's the question that the president should be held accountable to. You're saying um, he should be that's shot? That's what the president should be accountable to. What is I wonder if you have regrets about sharing this story. This was a dangerous animal that was killing livestock and attacking people. So Noam tries to turn it around and ask the interviewer. I think you're a mother too, and you have little kiddos. Uh, would you make a choice between your children or a dangerous animal? Then the interviewer asked why Noam thought the dog was untrainable and why not just rehome it or take it to the shelter? Well, this dog was a working dog and it had come from a family that had already had issues with this dog. And I had put months and months of training into this dog. This dog had gone to other trainers as well. And then there's that one chapter where Noam admits she went on an animal killing spree. My words, not hers. A part of a chapter called Bad Day to Be a Goat. And then after you shot the dog, you, quote, realized another unpleasant job needed to be done. Walking back up to the yard, I spotted our billy goat. You said he smelled and would chase kids, so you took him to the gravel pit and shot him twice. How do you justify that? How was the goat a threat? And I'm asking you this because it seems like you're celebrating the killing of the animal. And that's when Noam went into her typical spiel about she has to make the tough decisions in life. She wants to be honest. She wants to be real. So she you're not to going really to retract go the book? And to prevent China? Governor? I, this book is a powerful book. It's an honest book. It's an honest book about blueprint for America of what citizens can do here to take their country back. But the thing is, did she even read the book? You know In one point, she says that she had met um, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Guess what? That never happened. The ghostwriter is going to have to fix it and change all that now. I wonder what else will be changed in the book, if anything at all. I wonder if Christy Nome is going to change her stance on anything at all.